Good morning, Lakeview. I'm Billy. And I'm Jake. And this, this is, is Silver, Silver and Blue. Blue. The PE staff is holding a volleyball tournament on November 2nd, starting at 3 p.m. The cost is $20, and the money raised will go to the, helping the PE department purchase new equipment. Teams can be as big as you want, but only six can play at a time. Charlotte Batcher likes music a lot. Starting this week, Charlotte is going to feature a new brand each week. Now let's go over to our resident weatherman, John Montgomery, for this weekend's weather. Today, according to my handy dandy weather app, because I am not an expert in this field, and I'm not going to study meteorology, but eh, I'll do it. Uh, today we'll be having a high of 68 and a low of 54 with a mostly sunny day for the entire day. And that also means I'm going to be playing full field thief, but I'm used to it by now, so I guess I'll only partially uh, die from it. Uh, from it, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, onto the weekend forecast, which is what I'm deciding on doing now. Uh, Saturday, we are going to be having a partially cloudy day with a high of 72 and a low of 55. Well, eh, it'll be an okay day. Uh, but then when we go to Sunday, it'll be a little bit dreary, and we will be having showers expected with a high of 70 and a low of 50. So, if you like rain, I think you'll be happy to have Sunday as a day today. But if you plan on going out at all, like if you want to go on a date with some girl, I would suggest going out on Friday. Because if you want to go see a sunset together, I think it will be pretty nice. It's John Montgomery from looking at a sunset myself, which is not moving for some reason. And I'm really scared about that. Back to you in the studio. Every Friday, the school store will be open after school until 3 p.m. Down in the pool hallway. They now stock snacks, candy, pop, and new LHS apparel. This Friday will be the last football game of the season. It's a home game. Tailgate starts at 5.30, and the game starts at 7. And the theme of the dog pound is going to be pink for honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Here again is this week's installment of Five Fun Facts from Allie Colson. This is Allie Colson presenting five random facts. It's impossible to swallow and breathe at the same time. About one in every 200 people is born with an extra rib called the cervical rib. There's a church in the Czech Republic made up entirely of bones, estimated between 40,000 and 70,000 people. Rabbits can die of fright. There have been cases where dead bodies can produce soap. It's known as saponification. Those were your five random facts for this week. See you next time. Want to cater pizza lunch from the restaurant of your choice for yourself and a few friends? Submit your original artwork featuring the title Lakeview High School Diversity Club along with a related appropriate picture combining husky spirit and diversity to Mrs. Han in room 234 any day next week. Next week is college application week. We sat down with the counseling department to find out what to expect next week. Get ready for College Application Week. We are going to kick off the week with a bunch of activities. We're going to start with a door decorating contest. We're going to have videos played during the course of the week just to educate students on different colleges and to bring awareness to students. We're going to have games inside the classroom, and teachers are going to educate students about colleges that they went to and their experiences with colleges. All right, seniors, we've got the Race to College contest coming up. Starting college application week, we're going to be having you come down to verify that you have submitted a college application, submitted your FAFSA, and registered for parchment. That gives you your first raffle ticket. Then after that, you can earn additional raffle tickets by applying to more colleges, going to college visits, attending the college fair uh, at East Detroit High School, and uh, perhaps retaking a college admissions test or applying for independent scholarships. All of this will earn you raffle tickets, and we're going to raffle away prizes at the end of college application week and then again before holiday break. So get in the race to college. 
addition to the other activities we're having, we're also going to have FAFSA completion nights for students and parents to come in and get assistance help completing their FAFSA. So we're meeting on the first night is October 25th, night of conferences in the library, and then we're going to have two additional nights for parents to come in on Monday and Wednesday the following week. All right, seniors, so during college application week, we're going to be having appointments in the computer lab for you to complete your college applications, file your FAFSA, complete par parchment registration, or other related senior activities. So please look forward to those passes. Happy hey, college, college application week, Lakeview! Go Huskies! Please turn in now and then in elementary school pictures to GJ, Charlotte Bachelor, or Mrs. Sharp by the deadline of November 10th. It will be here before you know it. Some might think these questions are easy to answer. Let's see how this week's trivia questions in the hall went. It's a conference. That's a conference. Is it a million? <laughs> Is it a hundred? Ben Franklin? Yeah. I thought he was a scientist. Um. <laughs> he wasn't a president. He wasn't a president. Love is in the air. If you're interested in a date ideal for the upcoming weekend, here's Katie Fisher with a suggestion. The is located in Pontiac, Michigan. Prices range from $19 to $30. If you're looking for a fun fall date idea and to get spooked, check out Aaron. Okay, we're with, here with two people that already went for Erebus, and here's how they feel about it. Okay, on a scale 1 through 10, how scary was it? 10 being serious. Uh, okay. 10. 10. Okay, at level 1 through 10, how scared are you? 10. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? It's Friday the 13th. Oh, yes! <laughs> and this was so much fun. Uh, there was three things in particular that really spooked me. The clowns, the insane asylum, and all the noises. They were scary, but I certainly enjoyed it. So now you know how to take me on a spooky day. Speaking of fall and the Halloween season, Nick and Joel are back with A Hot Minute. What's up, guys? I'm Nick. And I'm Joel. And today we're going to be asking people their favorite fall activities. All right, so what is your favorite fall activity? Uh, my favorite fall activity so far has been going to Earbridge, to Haunted House, and uh, it was pretty fun. All right, so what is your favorite fall activity? That would be running. Uh, I like to go ghost hunting on Halloween Eve. Uh, trick or treating. All right. Trick or treat. All right, trick or treating. Ghost hunting with my family. On All right, what is your favorite fall activity? My favorite fall activity is um, scary movies. Watching scary movies. Sorry, right, which one of those movies is your favorite? My favorite scary movie is Silent Hill. Silent Hill. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Um, I'd either have to say like Halloween or Scream, like the old Halloween movies. I don't like the new ones. I like to watch Friday the Thirteenth and sometimes Halloween Town. So. All right, that's cool. As you can see from today's responses, there is a wide range of activities that people enjoy doing during the fall season. Tweet us your responses to what your favorite activities are at the Lakeview HBN for a chance to be featured on the show next week. Well, that's it for this week, Lakeview. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend. weekend.